ones that addresses allocation, or whether or not a subsequent uh, a bottling company that wanted to come in, uh, whether what rights they might have vis-a-vis -vis Poland Spring. But, but I think it's, what's really important is that, that they incorporated this commercial use test. Poland Spring had to show that it was going to suffer, suffer substantial hardship. And, and even if this court were to determine that the Centimore case was decided on slightly different grounds, I think as an evidentiary issue under the substantial evidence test, Poland Spring has failed to show that it will uh, suffer this, the hardship that it alleges. There are three components to Poland Springs' uh, hardship claim, and this was in the letter that uh, Thomas Brennan had sent to the planning board after Mr. Griswold had raised the red flag and said, we don't think you have substantial hardship. And there were really three components. The first was the bottled water market is expanding. The second was we can't take more water from our existing sites. And the third was then the conclusion, and therefore we will suffer a, a responding decline in our market share. And, and I think that this is insufficient because when you go to the, the, the decision of the Board of Selectmen and you look at what the board is able to say about this issue, all they're able to do is repeat this. We know it's an evidentiary claim in Santamore because there was no remand. The, there was a, a recitation of what the, they proposed to show, which was a competitive injury, and, a and they said, but argument is not evidence. All we have is a letter from a third party saying they'd like to have this, this water. Here we have said, we need this water. If we don't have this water, there's going to be a decline. So what this boils down to is not a question about the evidence, but they want to have a different standard. They want to have an interpretation that is different from what the state agency's interpretation is, which is competitive injury is enough. And not only do we defer to the state agency's uh, decision, but as this court has also noted, we don't uh, take lightly any wholesale rewriting of the common law in the state of Maine. And I would note that the uh, description of the standard that Mr. Griswold would like to have applied, uh, amongst other things, as we listen to, to it today, would violate the Commerce Clause. Because uh, under Sporhazy versus Nebraska, uh, you can't hoard water. So if you had a standard that was discriminating on its face against uh, out-of-town transportation of water and, and produced a severe burden, aside from showing simple need, and so this is an anti-waste But isn't, isn't water, on the issue of the Constitution, isn't water a pretty valuable asset of the state? That's what they argued in Sporhazy. And, Spo and the Supreme Court in Sporhazy, S-P-O-R-H-A-S-E, said you can't discriminate. You can't hoard your natural resources. Well, you can't discriminate against the fact that it's whether it's a local company or an outside company, but you sure can take many, many steps to preserve your resource. You can take certain steps to, as long as they are even-handed and you do not discriminate against the transportation of an item in interstate commerce, such as water. And, and I, you know, we didn't raise a Commerce Clause claim below because we won, and we had no standing to do so. But these real constitutional problems that would come from a more severe burden show that another reason to defer to the state agency in its interpretation. But even if Brennan, who, who filed material showing at these sites, because that's the criteria for the statute, where, where the water's getting transported, we, we have insufficient capacity. What that means is, not just to meet the growing demand, but because we have permitting levels, and he says this, the testimony shows the, the permitting levels, we have to stop. And that means we need more sources, which we will always respect. Doesn't, doesn't it also, this gets back to Justice Clifford's point, it demonstrates that, that this is a finite resource. This is not an endless resource. And if the resource is finite, and if it is now being, uh, it has arrived at the point where you've got to look to the town of Denmark to start pumping out multiple uh, gallons and increasing capacity, why? Should we accept an argument that a loss of market share is enough to show a substantial hardship that allows your client to continue to truck water out of the state? What the, the record shows as to the, the finite nature of this resource is that the level that Poland Spring is seeking to take out of the town of Denmark is fully uh, rechargeable and sustainable. It is not going to 
lower the amount that is available for the town of Denmark. Should the town of Denmark have an increased need locally for that water, then yes, Poland Spring will look to other sources to get meet its existing and projected demands. And the, the state, as Justice Clifford has noted, has indicated here is the standard. But aren't you working on a, an upside down pyramid as you, as you extract more water and take it away, local towns then begin to uh, lose their water capacity. So you move to the next town and you create in the market a greater desire for bottled water elsewhere, which means that this finite and fairly precious natural resource in Maine begins to be the source for a greater and greater demand nationally if your capacity to say market share gets you substantial hardship, it is endless. The, the, the amounts that are taken from the, the town of Denmark do not decrease the total amount that is available in the town of Denmark. And it's, that's being monitored on absolutely. a daily, I mean on a regular basis? Yes, it's rechargeable. We do not take- Up to, up to this point, it's, it's rechargeable. Yeah, up to the I, point- We don't know what's gonna happen in the future. They set actions levels. They change the action levels. They can impose any conditions that they want. It's an ongoing process. If they, if they think that there is additional evidence that they want to have to make sure, there is no net loss here. There, there is never a, a net loss out of the water that Poland Spring takes from the, the locality, which is exactly why we would like to, we need to expand to other water resources so that we never produce a net loss in any area, any region. The, the, something though is wrong with the analysis if you have to keep moving from town to town over time. Perhaps I do not understand the geological studies well enough, but you get to the point where you can't continue to extract the same amount from this town, so you move to the next town, and then the next town. At the same time, the national demand for bottled water continues so that you can continue to say, we need to have our market share kept up, which means your demand is greater as each town reaches the point where you can't take so much out. There, this doesn't sound like a, a zero-sum game to me. Well, the, the record shows under the hydrogeological criteria, it is a, there, there is no decline in the amount available, but the reason why you would stop, it's not every town, it's not every source that, that we're talking about. We're talking about the sites of the bottling facilities where the water is being transported. And so if there are additional demands or if there's something in the town that causes the quality of the water to change or there are some other factors that affect either the quantity or the quality of the water in the areas of the bottling sites, then they will affect your need to go to another source. But if everything stays the same, if the population doesn't change, uh, if, if you uh, have no differences in the quality of water because of anything else that's happening in the town, then we will never cause a net loss. And that is what the focus of the town of Denmark's concerns were, appropriately. And they are not claiming otherwise. That is not on appeal before this court today. There is no adverse impact onto the people of the town of Denmark, and they cannot claim Otherwise.